And welcome to Prime Sports with me, Razak Musbao. Now, it's been a very special day for Ghanaian athletes in the African Games because uh, Ghana's been able to rack up some four gold medals. Now, let's start from the University of Ghana Stadium because that's where the action did begin with Ghana's Joseph Paul Amwa winning the gold medal in the men's 200 meters final. Now, after that, a high jumper, Evans Chadman Yamwa, also clinched another gold medal for Ghana when he cleared a bar of 2.23 meters to top the standards. Now, let's bring you that race that Joseph Paul Amo was involved in in the 200 meters final. And after that, we'll see how Chadman won the gold medal in the high jump. Four by one. It's destiny time for Ghana and Nigeria yet again in the men's 200 meters. Running the bend really well is Claude Emmanuel of Cameroon, but Joseph Polamo has come onto the home straight on the lead. Is neck to neck with Ekanem Joseph of Nigeria. But Paul Amor is uh, coming through. Paul Amor is running really strongly, and it's going to be Joseph Paul Amor. Goal for Ghana in the men's 200 meters. Joseph Paul Amor. Finally, a global title to his name. He's tried in the past and it's not come true for him. And after years and years of sacrifice, he's finally African Games champion. Joseph Paul Amor is the winner of the men's 200 meters. And that will be a second gold medal in the track and field. The first on the track for the Ghanaian. Remarkable achievement. For Joseph Paul Amwa, 20.70. As they came through the bend, it was not obvious he was going to win it. Look at that. He had to dig deep, chased and put under pressure by Claude Emmanuel and Ekanim. Consider of Nigeria, he found the extra energy and. Yeah, the fans here, loses his eyes, just takes in his environment and he would ask for the clap. And the home crowd would oblige. Look at that. Jama group. That's, I believe, is from. Anyway, Evans Cadman. Oh, he has absolutely sold that. With space to spare, and they do the Sioux celebration of Cristiano Ronaldo. He's not going this to lose this. He's not leaving this to come back. He wants to win this outright. This is turning out to be some competition. This is the superstar Ghanaians didn't know about, that they didn't know they had. Lots have been spoken about the others. Look, and the camaraderie with the other jumpers is just incredible. He's such a showman, and he's turning on the banners and turning on the heat on the other jumpers. The pressure now will be on Link's Info Benjamin. Abobe Chuanello. Look at how high, high above the bar he was. This is phenomenal. It's a well, uh, Elia, Eli in the morning was William Amponsa who managed to clinch the silver medal in the mini marathon that was held uh, at just around the University of Ghana Stadium there. But let's take you to the Theodosa Oko Hockey Stadium because that's where Ghana's women. Hockey team, the Black Stakes, also secured Ghana's 12th gold medal uh, after defeating Nigeria on penalties in the final of the hockey tournament. Now, goalkeeper Abigail Boy made four penalty saves to help Ghana beat Nigeria 4-3 on penalties to win the gold medal. And this is how the action unfolded. So the skipper, Elizabeth Opoku, would attempt another try. Elizabeth Obuku would attempt another try. She finished brilliantly earlier on. Can she do it again? Liz. Liz, can she do it? Liz, can she do it? Oh no. She couldn't. And she's missed. Oh dear. Oh dear, Elizabeth Obuku. Martha Uku. What a performance she's putting for Nigeria. The Nigerians cannot afford to watch this. Can they finish this off, Nigeria? Can they? Can they? 
But Abigail Boyd to the rescue again. again. Abigail Boyd to the rescue again for Ghana. How many times is she going to be rescuing Ghana in this situation? I'm sure she won this done as quickly as possible. Can Ghana get it done? Yes! 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 Cecilia Mwako. And that is a gold for Ghana. Wins gold for Ghana. Well, uh, the men's hockey team uh, had to se settle for silver after losing to Egypt on penalties. Well, uh, there's action at the uh, Bukum Boxing Arena and over there, Ghana been able to claim two gold medals in boxing. Mohamed Aite and Joseph Kome are the ones who have delivered Ghana's first ever gold medals in boxing since 1991 in the African Games. For Aite, he defeated Livins to Lembekwa. Zola uh, via unanimous decision to win the 48 kilograms boxing event, while uh, Kome defeated Zambia's Andrew Chilata via unanimous decision in the men's 60 kilograms contest. Well, later in the evening, the Black Satellites will be in action against Uganda when they battle for yet another gold medal for Ghana. But all the way in Morocco, the Black Stars suffered a 2 1 defeat to Nigeria in the first friendly game of the match international break earlier today. Uh, the game, which was played in Marrakech, saw the Super Eagles and the Alongam beating run against Ghana. Well, they scored their first goal through the penalty spot and increased the lead through Ademola Lukman. But Jordan Ayew managed to pull one back for Ghana, but it was not enough as the game ended 2 1. Yeah, so that's uh, the Black Stars losing two goals to one there. Well, it was Otto Ado's first game. They will play uh, Uganda later on Sunday, the second friendly game. And we'll see how the Black Stars will fare over there. But uh, the closing ceremony of the African Games will happen at the University of Ghana Stadium tomorrow. But later tonight, you can make time and watch the Black Satellites game. Talking about the Black Stars, one man who spent some really good time with the Black Stars. And uh, was part of Ghana's under-20 team that made the country proud. And also had some great stains with the Black Stars. Well, the last team he played for was Great Olympics. Uh, Krahatafuk, I beg your pardon. Krahatafuk. And uh, he managed to... Uh, bring some excitement into the local league. He's on a different project now. He's looking to scout players and position them for glory on the international stage. And he's got a really exciting tournament coming up on April 24th at the Medina Astro Tev. And um, we've got him in his studio to tell us more about it. I'm talking about the man Samuel Inkum, Ghana's finest right back, Kumasi Asante Kotoko's legend, even though he played for Accra Hatafuk. Legend, you're welcome. Thank Good you. to have you on Prime Sports tonight. I mean, we just we, we have to talk about the Black Stars. You know, you haven't played with the Black Stars. It's just about the technical team. Otuado has returned, and he's in there with one of your former mates, just uh, John Pinto. Um, the second coming of Otuado, what have been your impressions of it? I think uh, we all need to support the national team. That is our property, and I believe that uh, at the end of the day, they, 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 they notice that they are the right people that they have to lead the team. So I think that we all have to, what do you call it, give them the support so that they can do whatever they have to do to make us happy. Mm. But, I mean, John Pinto has come under a lot of criticism, you know, when he was included in the Black Stars because of some comments he made about some demonstrations that were held at Tatera and even videos have surfaced of him saying that his colleagues, he does not believe, uh, you know, are at the level to coach the Black Stars. Now he finds himself with the Black Stars. It's a big job. It's one that is not so common to see Black Stars get to that level. As, you know, John Pittel is in there. People are criticizing his appointment. I mean, what, what, would, what would be your message? We all rally behind John Pittel, or what would even be your message to the critics of John Pittel? Like I said, you know, um, I'm just focusing on the national team. And I think that uh, I will not say anything bad against John Pittel. 
I think that we all have to support him. That's the most important thing that we are looking for because when they bring glory, everybody will be ha happy. But I know there's a lot of you know bashing going on. Yeah. I'm just I'm just begging Ghanaians that we should take it easy, give him that confidence that he needs because everybody need platform, you know. So let's take it that we are support him. even though if he doesn't know, you know, we are giving him the support to do whatever he can do to help our national team. I mean, just finally, though, what, 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 how do you perceive the future of the Black Stars? Because they've been given three years to reform the team, a possible five. Is this, uh, the, the, is this the best plan to get the Black Stars into the shape that we have always known it to be? I think so, because uh, um, now the coach will have enough confidence, you know, to do whatever he has to do to develop the, 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 the team. Because I believe that when you give a, a coach, let's say, one year, or maybe one and a half, you understand this, there will be a lot of question mark. He will say that you didn't give me enough room to prepare the team. So I believe that this time around, he, he has the whole time to yeah. take his time, also monitor some of the players and also bring new faces in as well, you know. I believe a team supposed to be a team that everybody have to fight for a position. That will let you get a good team. But if I'm, I know the income, I'm automatic at the right back. Of course, even if I sleep, I know I'm the one who's going to play. But if I knew my, my mate is also like the same, yeah. more than me, I would do extra. So I believe that uh, you have to bring uh, uh, new faces that we think that they can also come and help the country in terms of football as well. I mean, talking about helping the country in terms of football, that's exactly what you're doing yeah. with your uh, management consult. It's been how many years? About uh, almost, not year, one year, about yeah, six months plus I, I since think, you launched it? I think I'll, I've been uh, behind, like, mm. uh, behind okay. for, for a while, okay. almost six years. Wow. But uh, now that I've made it official, you know, we launched the agency. And my motive is that uh, because I was banned from football, uh, some time back, yeah. you know, so I tried to also educate them for them to know um, the contract that they are signing, they have to understand what they are doing before they sign. So that is what I'm doing at the moment. I'm trying to uh, go to other regions in Ghana because I believe that talent, we focus only on Accra Kumasi, but in my motive, talent is not only Accra Kumasi. I think somewhere in Bronga Hafu, somewhere in Kintampo, you know, yeah. we have a huge talent there, yeah. but they need a platform. So that is what Essen Kung Football Management Agency we are doing. So now this showcase African nation is that you come. Yeah. There, will, there will be a lot of club owners from outside, scout from outside. If I'm not wrong, I think almost uh, 26 scout and five uh, clubs owners are coming. So I don't think this is what we can also do to help the community and Ghana as well. So uh, that's, that's it. So you can see on your screens over there um, is the showcase of African nations on the 20th of April at uh, the Medina Astrotev uh, Zurak Park. I mean, which category of players are you looking to scout here? Which so, age group? So we are looking for 17 to 21. Okay. When you are above 21, you cannot register. We will not even accept it. Okay. When you are below also 17, we cannot accept you because we want to, um, there's a system that we are following, but we are going to do also the, uh, uh, let's say 10 from 9, 10, to 15. We are going to do that one as well. And in October, we are going to do also the women football as well. So as in Kung Football Management Agency, we are not only focusing on the boys. We are focusing on the girls as well, but we have time for everything. Yeah, so the, for this one, it's between 17 to 21. 21, yes. Great, 17 to 21. But the question is, when you scout them, so they've registered, they've been able to uh, get to be scouted, what's the plan after that? Is it that some are thinking, so does it mean when you select me, I'm traveling abroad? Mm. Or what, what is the plan for that? Okay, so we are building our own academy. And uh, the players that we are going to select from this tournament, for instance, we'll keep them and develop them. Some of them might have a chance. Maybe some of them might have a chance to go maybe after the tournament. But I believe that we want to take our time and develop them and develop them very well. The most important thing is that some of our players, they don't know even how to speak to media. That is our problem. So this is some of the things that we also want them to, want to let them to know how to speak to media. And also after football, what next? So we want to also tell them that, listen, education is very important. You know, you have to, you know, have confidence in whatever you are doing. Yeah. And we believe that don't, there's not everybody can be professional.
maybe injuries will come. That is not what we are praying for, but maybe it can happen. Mm -hmm. So then you know what to do uh, when it happens. So this is something that uh, uh, we plan with our team. It's not easy though. Yeah. So that is why we also, we have opened up for corporate body to come on board, to come and help us to, to achieve this, uh, this dream, you know. I want us to do it together, not only income, because I don't the day Ghanaians will benefit as well. Amazing. So um, uh, on the 24th of April, uh, 20th of April rather, uh, Medina Astrotep Zurak, between for you, between the ages of 17 to 21, you need to find your way there, but then you need to register. Um, uh, I'm sure your consult is on Facebook, right? Yes. Great. So Samuel Inkum, uh, you know, uh, uh, scouts, um, you know, consults, a management consult. Uh, management agency. Mm -hmm. We have everything on my page. Great. Twitter. Facebook, Instagram, when you go there, you can have the chance and register. Yeah, great. So I uh, just checked uh, Samuel Inkum's page on Facebook, on Twitter, and uh, on Instagram. The details are there, how you need to register, if there are some payments you need to make. This is a glorious opportunity for you to transform your life, get an opportunity to work with one man who's played at the very, very highest level. You know, I just saw the name, Showcase of African Nations. I mean, it's open to yes. anybody, not it's just Ghanaians. Not only Ghanaians. We are not focusing on only Ghana. Mm. I think uh, so far... We have, let's say, about 500 people from South Africa coming. Amazing. I think 10 from Egypt, 10 from Morocco. You know, everybody wants opportunity, and everybody needs opportunity as well. So I think they have seen that we are also doing something that on the day to give them the exposure, you know. So that is, our, that is my motive, because I want them to also, also play more than where I got myself into. So that is why... I want them to understand what they are doing. We have a lot of kids nowadays, they just want to play football, but they don't understand. That is why we want to change their mindset, how they think towards the game and everything. So we have a full team to make sure that this kind of kid, innocent kid, who has potential to develop and develop. I mean, we're just about a month away from this event. Today yeah. is 22nd of March. It's going to happen on 20th, just less than a month away. How excited are you? I'm sure you've seen the registrations that have already started. Yeah. You know, how excited are you about this? Because I'm sure there's something you've been thinking about yeah. and yeah. it's finally coming to pass. Yeah, I think I can't wait, mm. you know, because uh, um, even yesterday I spoke to one agent from UK. It's a surprise I want to give to Ghanaians. I'm one of the biggest team in, in England. I'm bringing the chief scout to Ghana. I hope it's Chelsea. And, and that's secret. <laughs> <laughs> And this is something that I can't wait because they have also seen that Kudus is doing very well there. Yeah. And he's also giving opportunity for the young kids as well because he has opened the door. Yeah. So now everybody's focusing on Ghana, you know. So I'm happy and I can't wait for this, this tournament to start. Yeah, amazing. Just talking about Ghanaian players and how they are doing well. Kudus, amazing. amazing. You know, uh, uh, Jordan, you also done his bit. Uh, yeah. Now you have, uh, uh, what's his name, uh, Fatah Isaac in Leicester yeah. City all over the place. Yeah. Uh, you know, I mean, is this, is this a time that Ghana must not let go? A time where, you know, people are now just, if you say, almost from Ghanaian players, you know, just trying to get as many Ghanaian players, talented I, players. I, I think it got to a time, it was Michael Essien setting yeah. that pace in, in, mm -hmm. in, in, in Premier League. Absolutely. So the, we have some players that they have gone there and do something that now people are saying, okay, Ghana, we have talent. Thomas Partey, amazing player, you know. Like uh, my good friend, he's my boy, you yeah. know, Isaku. Yeah. I speak to him every time. Sometimes I, I, I give him a little bit of advice, what you have to do. I'm so impressed, you know. Now, I think that this young kid is matured now. You understand? So that is why everybody is coming to Ghana. Kudus, we cannot, we cannot even have a word to describe him. Amazing talent. Mm. I pray to God that always you should protect him from injury. Mm. That's the most important thing that every Ghanaian we have to do. Yeah. But I think they have said, they have opened the door there. So now everybody is coming. It doesn't mean they are coming when they come and they will take it and just go just like that. I think that we have to develop them. We have to let them understand the game before they can go out there. Amazing. Well, uh, you know, there's been right to dream. I'm sure this is possibly the second right to dream. This initiative you are putting together is yeah. likely to become the next right to dream. Yeah. And one day we'll point to a certain player and say he came from Samalinkum Academy. Yeah. You know, you'll be, you'll be making the money too for yourself, isn't it? Of course, but <laughs> I, I don't want to claim the, uh, uh, what do you call it, the glory alone. Or yeah. the, I, I don't want everybody, okay, because of someone. No, yeah, yeah. I'm doing it because of Ghana. Because Ghana have given me enough privilege, enough platform for me to be Sam Olinkum today.
So that is why I want to also give back to community in Ghana. I mean, finally, the Black Satellites are playing in Uganda. Um, I'm sure you're definitely wishing them well. And uh, the one issue that is hanging, I'm sure you people will love for you to add your voice, is the Black Princesses, they won gold yesterday. I'm sure you got the chance to watch that game. Uh, but the interesting bit is that they have not been paid their bonuses, and people are saying, <laughs> oh, come on, guys, you need to give them their bonuses. Income. Definitely, the girls deserve their bonuses, don't you? I think, Especially after their performance yesterday. Yeah, I think they have done something that is amazing, you know. And uh, I believe that the, the leaders will do whatever they have to do to make sure that everybody is happy in the camp there, you know. They have done something that uh, nobody even thought about it, you know. But the coach is doing very well, trust me. Yusuf is doing very well. And um, look, at, look at the stadium. Yesterday was amazing. That is what we are looking for. Amazing. You understand? And this also is a very good example for our national teams as well. Yeah. If you play very good, mm. I think Ghanaians will never allow you to go alone. I think they will, they will support you. So it's a good example mm. for them. There's one even striker that I'm chasing for to sign him in my agents. Ah. I've already started talking. Is it the Black Princess? Yeah. Okay. The one who scored the... the Karawa? Yeah, yeah. Okay. You know? okay. I'm been, I've been chasing her because there's a, one team in the U.S. who want uh, her. And uh, they contact me and I have to make it, this thing uh, or this deal happen. So, mm. yeah, I'm trying to talk to her and we can, uh, we can allow her to go and also yeah, get the good. platform he's that good, you need. Good, good. She's, she's, she's very good. She's a wonderful Amazing, player. amazing yeah. talent. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So that, that's how we, we, we develop the players? That's yeah, how yeah. We because uh, I don't the day, he's, he's playing as Zakir's ladies, if I'm not wrong, you know. And uh, I've, to be honest, I've never followed her too much. Mm. But what she did yeah, was really yesterday oh, it was amazing. amazing. Well, that's uh, my legend, your legend, our legend, Samuel Inkum, with a wonderful initiative coming up on April 20th. Go to your social media platforms, get all the details, register, get your young boy to be part of it and stand a chance to become a star. And it's on that note, we draw the curtains in tonight's edition of Prime Sports with me, Razak Musbao. Do have a wonderful weekend.